Good morning, students. I am Dr. Kumar, Department of IT, Sagar Institute of Research and Technology, SIRT, the Sage Group of Work. Today, we will discuss the XMDP protocol, Extensible Messaging and Presence Protocol. That is the part of uh, subject IT 703B, that is Internet of Things, of Sam 7th. So, this is the outline that what we will cover in this lecture that is the connection life cycle, security features security layers, or XMPP technologies, weaknesses, key points, applications, and somewhat comparisons. So let's start. This is the extensible messaging and presence protocol, connection life cycle. In the connection life cycle, it includes the connection, stream setup, authentication, and disconnection phases. How many phases? That is four phases, connection, stream setup, authentication, and disconnection phase. These phases have following functionalities. First is the connection. What is the role of the phase that is the connection? Connection establishes communication with the XMPP server, typically by utilizing the domain name system, that is the DNS. Mechanism by querying the appropriate server reports. So main role of the connection phase is to establish the communication between the XMPP server, typically by utilizing the DNS. Now, the second one, that is the stream setup. What is the role of the stream setup phase? After establishing the connection, the client sends the XMPP stream to the server, and server responds with the response stream. This is the role of the stream setup. That is, after establishing the connection, the client sends the XMPP stream to the server and the server responds with the response stream. Next is authentication. Using simple authentication and security layer, that is the SASL, simple authentication and security layer protocol, the authentication is being achieved. The server can support plain text or MD5 authentication with some having the capabilities of using Kerberos and our special tokens. So main role of the authentication, authentication is the authenticate and here it uses the, pro, uh, that is the layer, a protocol that is the SKSL, means the simple authentication and security layer protocol. Last phase that is the disconnection. Session is terminated and disconnected after information exchange is completed. When, when, when disconnection? when the information exchange is complete so at that time session is terminated and disconnected this is achieved by the sending the unavailable presence type in the xml stranger that terminates the stream with the client so this was the xmpp extensible messaging and presence protocol connection life cycle which includes the four phases that is the connection stream setup authentication and disconnection phases now we come to the security features that is most important in the IoT scenario. TLS, transport layer security to ensure encryption while data is on the move. First thing. Second, authentication using the SASL, that is a simple authentication and security layer protocol. Next one, that is the access control. Privacy measurement and last the client and server certificate generation and validation. These are the some security features inside the XMPP, which includes the TLS to ensure the encryption. Authentication by using the SASL, simple authentication and security layer protocol, access control, privacy measurement, and client and server certificate generation and validation. So the XMPP is somewhat secure. These are the security layers in front of you. It includes that is the IP, TCP, TLS, SA, SL, and XMPP. These are the security layers for the XMPP. So now you can imagine that how secure the extensible messaging and presence protocol is. There are some core technologies in the XMPP. That is the core information about the core XMPP technology for XML streaming, jingle, 
मल्टीमीडिया सिग्नलिंग फॉर वॉयस वीडियो फाइल ट्रांसफर मल्टी यूजर चैट फ्लेक्सीबल मल्टी पार्टी कम्युनिकेशन पब सब अलर्ट एंड नोटिफिकेशन फॉर डेटा सिंडिकेशन एंड बोस बी एस एच एस टी टी पी बाइंडिंग विद एक्स एन पी पी एस टी टी पी मीन्स हाइपर टेक्स ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल एंड एक्स एन पी पी मीन्स एक्सटेंसिबल मैसेजिंग एंड प्रेजेंस प्रोटोकॉल सो दीज वर दिस कोर टेक्नोलॉजीज रिगार्डिंग द एक्स एन पी पी एल द जिंगल मल्टी यूर चैट पब सब एंड बोस now we are coming on the some drawbacks you can say demerits and or the weaknesses of the extensible messaging and presence protocol first that does not support the qos text based communication includes higher network overheads and binary data must be first encoded in base 64 before transmission these are the some weaknesses demerits drawbacks of using the extensible messaging and presence protocol now we are coming on this some xmpp applications that where we can use the xmpp you can use in publish subscribe system use in signaling uh, signaling for voip that is the voice over internet protocol video file transfer gaming internet of things applications smart grid and social networking services and many more so these were some applications of the xmpp protocol that is the publish subscribe system signaling for voip voice over internet protocol video file transfer gaming internet of things application that is the iot application smart grid and social networking services and many more the applications are now we are coming on the key points of the xmpp because in the last two lectures we have discussed regarding the xmpp so uh, there are some key points that we should remember regarding the extensible messaging and presence protocol first the full form that is the xmpp extensible messaging and presence protocol second one a communication protocol for message oriented middleware based on xml a communication protocol for message oriented middleware based on the xml extensible markup language real time exchange of the structured data open standard protocol one more xmpp uses a client server architecture as the model is decentralized no central server is required Next one, XMPP provides for the discovery of services residing locally or across the network, and the availability information of these services. This is the most important point regarding the XMPP. Well suited for cloud computing, where virtual machine network and firewalls would otherwise present obstacles to alternative service discovery and the presence-based solution. This is again the beauty of the xmpp open means to support the machine to machine and peer to peer communication across a diverse set of the network that is the meaning of the open first was well suited for the cloud computing second support machine to machine or peer to peer communications decentralization no central server anyone can run their own xmpp server open standard no relatives or granted permission are required to implement these specifications security by means of the authentication and encryption flexibility supports the interoperability these were the, some key points regarding the xmpp that is the extensible messaging presence protocol now here there are some comparison i will take the protocol that is the six slope and mqtt amqp coap xmpp and dss one or two we will discuss in the later lectures max of these protocols you discuss so here these are the features in which layer they are tcp udp which protocol they use and security by means of which so six six 
सिक्स लो पेन टू मैप सर्विस रिक्वायर्ड बाय द आईपीवी सिक्स ओवर द लो पावर डब्ल्यू पेन टू मेंटेन एन आईपीवी सिक्स नेटवर्क विच लेयर नेटवर्क लेयर टीसीपी इट यूजेस एंड फॉर द सिक्योरिटी दैट इज द यूज द एसएसएल एमक्यूटीटी टू यूटिलाइज द पब्लिश एंड सब्सक्राइब पैटर्न टू प्रोवाइड द ट्रांजिशन फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी एंड सिंपलिसिटी ऑफ द इंप्लीमेंटेशन एप्लीकेशन लेयर टीसीपी is used and security by means of the ssl amqp to provide the publish subscribe and point to point communication that is the layer application and the use the tcp and security by the ssl coap constraint application protocol to connect resource constraint device is a secure and reliable way application layer use the udp and use the DTLS for the security and the XMPP extensible messaging and presence protocol to transfer instance messages that is the IM standard that is used for the multi-party chatting, voice and video calling and telepresence. Their application and the protocol that is the TCP and security by SSL and again the same the DSS. to enable scalable real time dependable high performance interoperable data exchange using a publish subscribe pattern using the tcp or udp both and security by means of the ssl this was the some comparisons regarding uh, the xmpp with other protocols these are the references myself dr kumar department of it sagar institute of research and technology sirt the sage group bhopal welcomes you and thank you for watching the video thank you thanks a lot